see I did see one um, uh, question that came in um, or it was a, a uh, more a suggestion um, came in as a direct message to me here on Zoom. Um, the question earlier was whether there was an option for count in, uh, in queries. Um, and the uh, recommendation was that you, it's not, it's not a great one, but when you use a paged resource, you do get back a total count uh, with that um, response. So it should, it shows you not only the first one or 10 or 50 uh, items, but it also tells you in the pager response. Um, if we look uh, here in this pager, we have total. Uh, so if we get rid of this filter, we can actually show that there are 437 total objects here. So that's a good that's a good suggestion that there is a way to get the total resources, total count of resources. Um, it doesn't always work though, I will um, warn you, because in particularly for tracked entity instances, sorry, I wasn't sharing my screen, so you couldn't see that. Sorry, I did, I, I did. <laughs> no, it's so okay. Do you wanna, what, yes. Maybe, yeah, sure. maybe you I'll, could I'll share, share your screen. Yeah. Um, so here, this is what I was showing. Uh, so I have just the um, listing all visualizations, but with paging. So we have uh, in the response, we have this pager block, as I saw, as we saw before. Um, we're on page one, we have nine pages. This total is the total count of the number of visualizations in this system. So that is one way to get the count of visualizations. And you can also get the count for uh, uh, with a particular um, filter applied or something like that. So filter is uh, type equals single value. We should have nine, I think it was of these. Uh, so we have 10. Uh, we have 10 because I created that I am a test. Uh, so we have 10 total um, uh, visualizations that match this filter. That is a, a little bit hacky, but that is a way to get the, the count um, of objects. Uh, the challenge there is with tracker. So for particularly for tracked entity instances uh, and some events, um, because there could be many millions of uh, tracked entity instances or people uh, tracked in a system, uh, it, it is very expensive for the server to calculate the total count for every response. So for those endpoints, that uh, total count might be an approximation. It might not be the exact number. So just keep that in mind. Okay, thanks. Thank you, thank you, Austin. Good question, or good, good suggestion, uh, Alexander. All right, I reposted a question in Slack from uh, Mukaila in the Academy channel. Should I read it for you or? Oh, can we install, uh, okay, can we install DHIS2 slash UI and the runtime in Next.js app? Um, um, I, can, I can respond mm -hmm. to that one. Um, the, so the answer is yes, um, but I would not recommend it. I mean, you, you definitely can. So UI and runtime are both libraries that can be used in, in any system. They don't require the platform to be used. Um, but there are a lot of things that the platform will give for you automatically that I would recommend using the platform. And if you have specific um, features of Next.js that you would like um, to see implemented in the platform, that could be something that we could, we could discuss. Um, so short answer, yes, you can use UI. Yeah, absolutely, you can use that UI in any, in any React application. You can use app runtime also in any React application, but you have to initialize the provider yourself. So you have to specify the React context provider with the base URL, the API version, and some other things um, for uh, that particular um, instance in your application, which you don't have to do if you're using the platform. Um, but you could also uh, get a lot of the features of Next.js um, in the app, in the platform. And we're looking to add more things like uh, file-based routing um, and potentially uh, server-side um, uh, rendering and server-side functions as well in the, in the not too distant future. 
So if there are specific features of Next.js that you like, that you would like to see in DHS2 applications, I would love to hear what those are and why you would like to see them or use them. Thanks. Thank you, Austin. Um, is there uh, any other questions? Probably. Um, maybe after um, maybe after I introduce the, the exercises and the project, uh, we can uh, uh, open to uh, Q and A. Uh, also, a session where you can. Uh, uh, feel free, yeah, you, where you can uh, unmute yourself and feel free to ask any questions. Um, so, okay, I'm going to share my screen. Uh, okay, so <clears throat> again, the uh, the exercises uh, for the for this session for the app runtime are in. Uh, the folder workshop one. Um, the first one was a query, uh, and then you um, uh, you can check uh, mutations here, and you would have uh, you get the readme file with the information. Uh, I'm going to show you in my code editor um, uh, what you have to do, but basically here is just uh, implementing what uh, Austin has showed: uh, delete uh, and uh, create. So not update this time. Um, um, and I will show you how it looks. Um, so you have the source code here and uh, inside the components folder, um, there are a bunch of uh, components, but you only have to worry about uh, the delete visualization button and the new one. Uh, sorry, the new visualization button as well. So the um, for the new, this is asking you to create um, uh, to create uh, uh, a query um, uh, to create a test. I'll show you how it looks uh, on the browser, and uh, then for delete, um, this is a, sorry, yes. So this is a type delete, uh, of course. And if you want to uh, get uh, more information on. Uh, want to get uh, see some examples? Uh, you can go to um, uh, use that mutation, and here are some examples. Uh, so this one for uh, this is uh, for delete, and then you get here for update and create. Um, the plan again is to add uh, more of these examples. Uh, this is uh, a create one, uh, just as a reference, so you know that it's uh, it's there. You can consult this uh, documentation. Um, and feel free to, uh, this is, this is optional. Maybe if this is too much, um, don't feel pressured to, to do this, uh, exercises, uh, but, uh, it should be, um, it's, it's, it's already set up for you there. And the way, uh, the way we look after you're done, uh, it's like this. Um, so here you will be, a, uh, able to delete. Uh, as you can see, and to create um, to create a, a new uh, visualization. And um, there is a folder with a solution as well. If you get stuck, and I think this is uh, this covers the uh, exercises sec section and the up runtime. Um, uh, we hope that it's. Um, that it was clear that it wasn't too much, uh, but it's, it's it's very important to to know, of course, how to to use the the API, the DHS2 API, and how to interact with it on your applications. And uh, hopefully, the app runtime would facilitate uh, that process as you're building your applications. Um, and I think. Um, uh, should I go over the project? Uh, now, or uh, I'm, I'm unsure because of the recording. <laughs> uh, we can have it on the recording now. Uh, yes. You, do you want me to make a new recording just for this or not? It's up to you. Okay. No, I think it's um, okay. Yeah. All right. Keep it with yeah. the questions. Good, good. Okay. So, again, in the same template, uh, we have created um, a projects folder. And if you go to project one, 
um, you will get uh, some information uh, on this. And this is not required, um, of course, for, for this, uh, for workshop one, but for, for participants who are joining us uh, on the advanced uh, workshop two in May, um, <clears throat> it's, it is required that you um, finish this project uh, so, and, and that you will build on this project as your, uh, what, when you do project two for the certification. Um, so for, for, the, for participants who are just joining um, uh, today um, and not for the advanced one, feel free to do this as well. It's, uh, it, it, should be, it should cover uh, the topics that we, um, that we had discussed uh, yesterday and today. Um, you will see the requirements is uh, what we done, what we done yesterday to create an application um, a sidebar. So most of the um, uh, the exercise that you've done for the UI library, and um, as for the app runtime, uh, the only requirement is to use data query, and it's optional to use uh, mutation uh, component uh, if you want. And this is the deadline. Um, so we would like to uh, get those projects before the um, uh, before we start with the workshop number two. Um, and <clears throat> like I said, you would build on this project for for project two uh, if you join uh, the advanced, and this will give you um, a certification as well. Um, so if you have any questions about uh, the projects, uh, also you can ask on Slack. Uh, I believe that um, all the information is here. You can, uh, you can check afterwards. Um, and we look forward to seeing uh, your projects um, and to see if it's, uh, yeah, just to get any feedback what, if it was too easy or, or too hard, um, yeah. We would like to, to know um, what you think. And I think that should cover uh, the sessions, but I, I would like to open the, the room <laughs> for, uh, or the floor for, for uh, Q&A, uh, just about anything really. 